My name is Sam with 97X. Thank you guys for being a part of our 97X Next Big Thing Famous Tate Appliance and Bedding Centers Virtual Backstage. So we are going to give a big, let's do like Zoom hands. Welcome to AJR. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hi guys. Thank you so much again for doing this. We're all so excited to hear some songs and then we'll yeah. do some questions after. That sounds cool. Oh, songs all right, first. we're doing cool. the songs first. Ryan was in full lay down position. So <laughs> ready for the songs. Jump, run over to the piano. Oh my God. I'm ready. Um, we're going to play some songs for you. Ryan, what you want? This is always sort of like spur of the moment. You decide. What do you want to do? I'll, just, do? I'll do a build up and then we'll decide at the moment. That's super unhelpful. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Assuming there's clapping going on, 50% of me is assuming that. The other is like, what else you got? You know? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm now going to do a build up into the next song. <laughs> I mean, I need to know where to go. Where to go. I think you're going to want to okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This feels like Ariel's song from Little Mermaid. Oh, you look at this stuff. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, you were dead on there. Oh, okay. I'll try again. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got it. No thank you, God, is what I should have said. I should be in bed. But temptations of trouble on my tongue. Troubles yet to come. Like who to bad for me. One hit, bad for me. One kiss, bad for me. But I gave in so easily. No, thank you. It's how it should have gone. But I should stay strong. But I'm weak. And my small went down. Boy, oh boy, I love you when I'm small. But I'm weak. And my small went down. Boy, oh boy, I love you when I'm Boy, I love you when I'm 
They call me out to die. I don't want no part in my habits. They hold me like a perch. I promise I won't bite you like what's it? Bad for me. Bad for me. Bad for me. And I give it so easily. No, thank you. That's how it should have gone. I should stay strong. But I'm weak. single for you guys. You guys are playing Bummerland, which is amazing. And it goes a little something like this. I get up, I get down, and I'm jumping around, and I'm missing work. It's so comfortable now. Been a hell of a ride, but I'm thinking it's time to go. So I got in a box, been across from the box, poking right in my fridge, still I'm not feeling good. Been a hell of a ride, but I'm thinking it's time to go. Here we go. So good job, just face on, everybody bring to do another song, everybody come away. Hey, let's go now with the band. My taxes are due to my basket begin with a one or a two. Been a hell of a ride, but I'm thinking it's time to go. I'm at your no. And I'm up to something. What did I do? Oh, thank you all for coming. I hope you like the show, cause it's on the budget. So what did I do? Hey, come on, here we go. Hey, come on, here we go. So good job, best be sound. Sun. Everybody pretend you love this song. Everybody come and let's go out with the bang.
laughing you keep, the whole you're time. acting so funny the whole time. That was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. Clap all around, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, say it again. What'd you say? The claps are happening all around. I know it. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, all right. We're back. Ryan, lay it, lay down again. Yeah. All right. Now we're back. <laughs> this is cozy. I like it. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're here. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much again. That was great, of course. Yes, as you said, big fans of Bummerland. We love it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and Bang, and everything you guys Adam, you want to come in a little bit? And we've got um, all of your fans from Tampa Bay right here. So I think I'll just kind of take it one square at a time if you guys can try to stay muted when it's not your turn. That would be awesome. Um, but are you ready are to ask some some questions? <laughs> We're a little busy making the camera look as chaotic as possible. <laughs> That's the theme in Zoom. There we go. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, Gabby. How about how about we go for Gabby? Hey, hey guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, so my question was during quarantine and the whole pandemic and everything has any of that affected like your creative process? Like, do you feel that you've been more inspired or do you feel like you're hitting more blocks than usual? Yeah, it's a really so, good question. Yeah, so you can go ahead. I think it's some of both. I think you, you need two sides of your brain for songwriting. I think you need the side that's taking in all the information. Oh, my, my friend, uh, you know, broke up with his girlfriend and, and now he's feeling this or, or I, that was hypothetical. You made a sad face as, as if that actually happened. <laughs> um, or somewhere like, it happened, I guess somewhere yeah. in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. or like I saw this movie, you know, you need like a, a lot of outside stimuli. So that's one side. And then the other side is a very self-reflective side where you remember in eighth grade, this thing happened to me with this girl that I, you know, had a crush on or whatever. And so I think that side where we're very inner reflective is really being activated right now for everybody. Everybody's like just thinking about them themselves because that you have no distractions now. Um, so I think it's been a little bit harder, but I think it's actually directed the sound of the album and it's a lot more of an inner reflective, a little bit more intimate of an album. Awesome. Thank you so much. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Thank you, Gabby. All right. How about Brittany? Hi. Hello. It's cool to meet you guys. I've seen you a couple of times in concert, so this is really cool. So happy to meet all, <laughs> all three of you. We're really oh, thanks so much. <laughs> um, so I had my original question was like kind of fun and not really related to music. Okay. Um, but now seeing your Instagram posts, I want to change my question. <laughs> I wouldn't because Ryan's not going to give you any information. Uh, on it. Uh, so okay. No, I mean, okay. I mean, I, yeah, you asked, you could go ahead. Ask, we'll, we'll give as much as possible. Okay. Well, I was just curious. Is, I'm assuming it's an, a new album coming out soon. Do you have like time frame? <laughs> mm, it's definitely in that arena. It, it's yeah. It's sort of like the new, you know, chapter of the, yeah. uh, of the band, which implies, you know, <laughs> logically that there is new yeah. music coming out. Um, and uh, so stuff in that sort of arena and stuff in the live, you know, concert uh, uh, area as well. So there will be I mean, we, we haven't really said this yet, but there will be announcements in the next week. Week. <laughs> Let's try yeah, to get them to stay. It, week. It, it, that's it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. As to what that is. So, you, yeah, you guys will get answers very soon. Cool. Oh, that's great. Do you mind if I ask a really quick question, too? Yeah, there's two of you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So we were, um, well, we saw you at Firefly and we saw you at SeaWorld, oddly enough. <laughs> um, so, um, but we were going to see you in Tampa again with your tour with Quinn and Hobo Johnson. And, yeah. and we were like super bummed that that got canceled. It's and like we're, our dream line. I know. It's like oh, your yeah. favorite lineup of all time. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so we were wondering if there's any shot of that tour getting rebooted. And if not, that's okay. We're still <laughs> going to come see you again, but we we're just well, I feel like, I feel like Ash would have to like jump up to the top now since she's like blown Dude, up. Like, right? great. I feel like she's gotten more famous than any, uh, than um, <laughs> us Quinn or Hobo Chats. <laughs> it's like crazy. Dude, she's so talented <laughs> yeah, though. Like, yeah. um, no, but so uh, there's, there is no news on that. Honestly, it's, it's, so it's like such a, it's such a confusing time. Like, uh, you know, we were saying we had another interview. Someone asked like, do we know, like, tell us when concerts are going to resume. I was saying, we know we're going to know as, as soon as you guys know, like, 
we're all going to see the headline at the same time. Artists aren't keeping any information from anyone. So yeah. I guess when that time does come up, it hasn't really come up yet of like a definitive date. Um, we're, we'll talk about that again. I'm, I'm, I, we loved that lineup too. We thought really carefully about it and it was kind of our like dream lineup to, to at least to perform with. So we'll have to do something with them again, for sure. Yeah. You know, whether it's in the next year, or the year after, but expect something. All right. Well, we're rooting for it. So keep that in the back. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you guys so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. Thank you guys. All right. I'm, pro- I'm, I'm probably going to mispronounce your name. Ashula? Akushla. It's okay. Okay, go for it. (laughs) All right. So you guys have already kind of like alluded to this on social media, but will there be a theme um, for the upcoming area era? And like, how do you come up with those themes? Like, how do you decide on like which direction you're going to go with it? You mean like sonically or like the the aesthetically? Aesthetic, like neo theater, like how it looks. Okay. There will be a theme is the answer. Um, How do we come up with it? Uh, It often comes at the same time of writing the album. I think it doesn't work to just come up with it at first. Okay, we need to do an album about uh, a carnival and then like have to make an album that, you know, like just because our aesthetic is a carnival. What I just use that as an example. And it also doesn't work to make the album and then be like, okay, let's figure out how to loosely tie all these songs together. It has to go at the same time. Like when you're like a third or a halfway through the album, you start to realize, oh, this seems to be what we're writing. That seems to be this kind of theme where neo theater was so much about escapism and about trying to not grow up. And so it really, it really became clear it needed to be about a world, uh, this fictional world. Um, and this new album that we're writing uh, has a pretty clear theme as well. And we're still, it's like probably three quarters of the way baked to the, uh, the theme. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. All righty. Matthew, you are up. Hey, what's up, guys? Hello. <laughs> what's up? So cool to like be here. Um, yeah. My question was, um, were there any names that were kind of like in the running before you settled on like AJR? Was there anything else that kind of like was up there? Or was it just AJR the whole time? Adam named the album. We, were, Me and Jack were too what? young. And what? Uh, the, uh, <laughs> and the band. <laughs> Sorry. Low blood sugar. Yeah. Um, Adam named the world. <laughs> Uh, Adam, yeah, Adam named the band. We, me and Jack were kind of too young at the time to even like care about what the band we was had, named. Remember, we did a really early show and we had people submit yeah. names that they thought should be the name of the band. We did. Like we used, yeah, yeah, any show we used to do back in 2006 or seven was for. I mean, the only people that were there were like family friends, like, and they were all above the age of 50. Oh my <laughs> god, you're so cute. Um, so basically, what we did was we passed around like a bucket, and everyone wrote their, you know, their, their suggestion. I think we had a lot of uh, variations just of the names. We went through, you know, like Adam, Jack, and Ryan with A J A R, you know, a jar, and then we realized that it's a jar, so no one's really gonna because that's an actual word, you know. And then we had J A R, so sort of every variation, and I think A J R just like flowed off the uh, off the tongue, and it's alphabet as well so it, it was it was kind of chaotic it's it, i guess when you're back then and no one really knows who you are you have a lot of time to choose that name. Yeah. <laughs> you could take years for that if you want oh thank you so much guys. Yeah, yeah of course <laughs> that was awesome if only you could make a scrapbook now of those old names i know we should have those pieces uh, of paper oh my them. god some of those <laughs> names were awful all right kelsey Hi, I just Everyone. wanted to thank you for doing this first off, um, but I really like the way you guys produce your songs and I know you self-produce. And so I was wondering if there was like any inspiration for what you do or is it just kind of spur the moment or how that process works? It's very, um, I guess, okay, yeah, I guess there's a few answers. Uh, generally, when we go into producing a song, it's uh, let's try to do something unique. Let's include some sort of sound that people can, one, really identify with the song two, uh, that they haven't heard before, you know, and other music. And that's a really hard thing to do because, you know, there's so many artists out there and so many great producers that are doing new stuff. So I guess to answer your question, it is kind of spur of the moment of, and, and, and I guess the phrase that goes through mine and Ryan's head is what, like, why not? You know, why not put this in? And we'll go on YouTube and search up random videos of like little kids screaming, and then we'll sample that and reverse it and put it in. Because it's almost kind of like, why would you not put that in the song? Like no one's ever heard that before. You know, I have an example of that, that we've actually never shared before. Oh my God. We were just remembering. We were just talking about it. So in entertainments here in the beginning, uh, you guys seem like big fans. So obviously you'll know entertainments here Um, in the beginning where you hear like the piano and stuff, there's a, 
yeah. It's like kind of a scream sound. And that was, <laughs> we found this video of a guy screaming the lyrics to You're Welcome from Moana. <laughs> um, and he goes, you don't know how it feels. It's adorable. <laughs> and we literally took that, never told him, never asked permission, sampled it and went, bam, 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 bam. you guys have to go look up this video. <laughs> Me and Ryan were literally dying for two days at this video. This guy screaming the lyrics to this kid's movie. This, this, it was so good. Yeah. So we're like, we have to put this in. There's a lot of that stuff in our, in our, in our music. And so to answer your question, it's really just, I mean, if you're even anyone that's aspiring, try to get as creative and weird as possible. Everyone is so excited to hear things they haven't heard before. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. All right, I'm going to go to Aaron in the library. <laughs> Aaron is literally in Hogwarts. What is that, is that, wait, is that your, that's not your actual background, is it? Yeah, that's real. Like I can pick up stuff and move it around. Oh, oh my God. God. I could have, wow. Wait, everyone definitely thought that was a green screen, right? <laughs> no, it's real. There's almost 2,000 books in here. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, my God. So, Take out each one and just give us a give us a straight up four. <laughs> we all have time. The block is Mark Twain. There you nice. go. Yeah, start with Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my question is, um, can you tell us a story about your favorite performance or your favorite time playing together? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, we were just talking about one earlier. There was so yeah we we um we were an opening band for a really long time for, for uh, three or four years. We opened for so many different artists, whether it was just one show or many tours. So that's kind of all we knew. We hadn't really done any headline shows successfully. We, we did some tours and a few people showed up and then we did a lot of opening slots. And we finally, we opened for uh, Ingrid Michaelson was the last one that we did. We played the full tour. And after we were like, okay, we've done a lot of opening stuff. Our, our, our numbers are good streaming, streaming, and let's do a headline tour. And we had, you know, our expectations were 10 people in every venue and we were ready for it. And then I think we got to Orlando was our first stop yeah. and we came out on stage and it was like, I think like we had sold, you know, like 300 tickets or something like that. But in our mind, that was just such an arbitrary number. It was fake to us. We we're like, no, everyone got sick and everyone stayed home. No one's there. Then we came out. And then we saw like the front row, like singing the lyrics to the song. We were like, oh my God, we're not an opening band anymore. People yeah. actually know who we are and they know the lyrics. And I think that moment on, it's really like a high that's so, you know, indescribable. And I'm, I'm being genuine. I think that moment was like, wow, this is like, I guess this is what artists talk about when they say the first time people sing back your lyrics. So that moment was really, you know, stood out for us. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's so cool. All right, we're going to go to, I'd see as, I see it as Paxton's iPad. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep, that's Mr. Paxton right here. <laughs> hey, man. So, say hi. 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 So, um, we, I actually, I got to see your Neo Theater performance last year, and I was super excited about that, even though I felt like I was way too old to be down in a pit. I, I mean, my husband and I, we have seen a lot of concerts and today we're actually celebrating 18 years together. Oh, congrats. Yeah. That's great. So we're like, oh, look, it's two years in a row. And, you know, I'm watching three other men instead of you. It is what it is. Oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> um, but my question is, how did you guys think of when you did Neo Theater and you were high-fiving yourself and it kept going up and up and up and up? How did you do that? And like, how did you even think of it? I think that was like one of the best things ever because it was so <laughs> interactive. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess that just starts with our, our uh, mindset for the live show in general, which is, you know, and, and I don't, I, I want to like, you know, uh, um, preface this by saying I'm not at all hating on any sort of other live show. I, I, every artist does their own thing. Us personally, it really gets us excited to not just sit there and play the songs. Cause I think we get really excited about seeing something like crazy and whimsical. So we said, okay, you know, we're making a live show and we finally have money to do this. Let's try to make it like, like a really good movie. You know, you walk out of a movie and why was it really good? It was really good because, you know, it started off really suspenseful and then it went down into an emotional part and then it went kind of middle and then down and up. And it was just, you didn't quite know what was coming next. So I think we said, okay, let's do something like that. And then it was like Ryan and I eating a lot of candy and getting super like a big sugar high and saying, what if we did this? What if we did this? And I think really just one of the things that came out was 
um, what if uh, what if there were what if I was standing and interacting with the video wall and then two bigger versions of me popped up and I painted them and then I high five myself. It sounds like someone that's on like a crazy drug trip, like coming up with some ideas. But uh, <laughs> that's kind of what it was. Honestly, it was really just so, sort of the same mentality we have with the music of why not? Like if I went to a show and I saw. Um, you know, Alex Turner, whoever, you know, for, uh, for, uh, like going up on stage and high-fiving himself, I'd be like, okay, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. And I get to go kind of tell my friends about that. So it's really that. It's but that. honestly, what's important, you could do what, what exactly what Jack said. You could do it badly. Right. Like it's yeah. possible to just make it a, a crazy like experience that doesn't tie into the music at all. I think the, the really fun part is coming up with crazy stuff like high-fiving yourself. But then the really difficult part is how do you make it really coordinated with the music and really integral to the show so that this feels like one piece of art, not just everything we could have thought. Which of. is why in that point, I don't know if ever, if anyone's actually seen the show, but which is why that point, the high-fiving goes into the, it goes like, uh, duh, duh, duh. it goes into the beat of come hang out. And then I start singing over that beat. So, so that's what Ryan's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was just absolutely phenomenal. And I mean, thanks so much. one of the best shows I've ever seen. So oh, thank I'm, you. Major props to that one. So good thank job you. guys. Wait, can I say something? Oh, yeah. Well, what's your favorite song? Of that ours? They've done? Mm-hmm. That they've yeah. written? Yeah. Very good question. I think it's different for all of us uh, for different reasons. You you want to go first? Um, I think uh, I, I think I'm really proud of Karma. Um, that, that Jack really spearheaded that one. That was really Jack's story. Um, and I, I felt I, I felt like I like got it out of you i was like the no 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 i like, like secretly taking credit for no that's reason. not what i'm saying i'm nice. like i i supported you <laughs> you <laughs> you guided me through that right <laughs> no, no, no that's thank you i, I think it was just like really it was really refreshing to see you be so honest about your own like therapy experience i'm gonna return the compliment i'm gonna say dear winter is probably one of my favorites because ryan wrote that he by himself and no Wait, is he right. are you singing it yeah he yeah. Oh, nice. went to I hope you like your name. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, he was He was supposed to be there for your guys' performance at the next big thing. But unfortunately, you had gotten sick. So I know. But he was super stoked to be there. And then he's like, what? What do you mean oh. he's sick? I was like, I mean, if people get sick, they got to get they got to get better. So. Oh, that's so, yeah. the most heartbreaking thing I've heard on a Zoom call. I think that's, <laughs> that's straight. That was so. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> I'll have to like fly down for it. Up for it to <laughs> just be to perform in front of your house. <laughs> well, uh, wait, so I said dear well, winter. Making up for it, right? Okay, yeah. sorry. So dear go, winter. Go ahead, Adam's, winter. Adam's favorite song. I would say don't throw out my Legos. It just hits so oh, close. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Wow! Oh, so many people are getting so excited Legos. about that. What if I still want to lay ghosts? <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. We are gonna go to uh, Tyler Short Sleeves. Is that your real last name? <laughs> uh, that is his real last name. It was me, Victoria. Who? Oh, sorry. I was looking at. Is that actually your last name? <laughs> That's his last. Yes, name. Yes, that is my last name. Wow, where did that come from? Any idea? <laughs> nope, I was born with it. It's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always tell people that I've been told it's Native American. So really? Oh, okay. Wow, Native American. That's a first. Love that. All right. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, he's always stealing the show. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just come in the frame a little more, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so my question is pretty much the same as theirs, Paxton's. Um, mm-hmm. It was just what what it's inspired you guys for the live shows and everything and the performances. And you've already answered it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you have, do you have any other question you, you could think of on the what spot? Because I know you. I can't even remember the question I submitted. <laughs> <laughs> so no question. Um, I guess oh, which uh, era was your is your favorite to perform? Oh yeah, it's. I guess that's an interesting question because you know we went through. Um, I guess like we had the normal like uh, uh, trajectory of like a band that started with kind of nothing. You know, we kind of built our fan base one fan at a time, <laughs> and that also means we made each dollar one dollar at a time. We the money slowly came in, and basically every penny we made went back into the tour. 
uh, to, to create the show. And uh, so I think like the Neo Theater show is the tour that we were talking about back when we first did our first headline show at that date in Florlando. Basically, I think Ryan and I had said, one day we're going to be able to interact with the with video screen. One day we're going to have a treadmill on stage. So basically when we got there, it was like, wow, now, now we're like, we're here and we're making it. And then, you know, whenever live music does come back, we have some really crazy ideas that are like, you know, that, that, that do take a lot of money that are like, whoa, oh my God, you know, like that, that people haven't really seen before, like very magic and theatrical. And so I, I, I would assume that whenever we're going to play a tour next would probably be our favorite to do. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks guys. And now we've got Madison. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Um, this is like a totally random question. Um, but what are your favorite animals? Nice. It's not random at all. <laughs> um, if you're talking about animals that we most encapsulate, that's, I don't think that's what that is. Saying. And I have to say, Ryan is straight up a turtle and, and he's always has, you know, just like the way your neck sort of just, you know, that literally wasn't her question, but she was, that, she was looking at you and she saw a turtle. So <laughs> then that's why she asked it. What's your favorite? What's your actual favorite? Animal? Uh, um, Monkey. That's mine too. No, it's not. I literally it is my favorite animal. You go. I don't have a favorite. What? So. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a koala bear. Oh, that's nice. cute. Nice. Yeah. Great question. Um, can I ask a question too? Yeah. Um, how do you guys feel about having your music in Pixar's soul? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was that was really cool. I mean, if anyone doesn't know what she's talking about, the the, the new Pixar movie. I don't it's not out yet, right? Oh, it's, so. it's coming out later this year. Um it's soul that 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 Pixar movie and that, you know, we love, you know, Disney movies and Pixar movies, as does everyone. And I think one of our dreams was to, you know, write something in a Pixar movie. And they just contacted us out of nowhere, honestly, saying, hi, can we use uh, Overture, your song Overture? And we were like, we were really like, what? You want to use a song Overture? Why? Um, and they, and basically with that stuff, it, it never really pans out. Artists will tell you, you know, people ask for songs and then it doesn't end up, you know, being in the commercial. But it did. And the commercial came out and I guess it made sense because the, the protagonist is a jazz musician. So they wanted it for the but um but um duh. and then it kind of like uh scored the rest of the uh the trailer. And we were blown away. And we were on tour and we were kind of freaking out that the whole day. Cool. It was it was amazing. That was the day that we went to Disney Land? No, Disney World. Oh, we went to Disney World that day. Yeah, yeah that was perfect. That was a perfect day. All right. Thank you so much. Perfect day. Yeah. Oh. I think we got one more and you have to forgive me. Your screen is showing up as Jason, who I know we have to thank from famous Tate appliance and bedding centers, but I wanted to see if you girls had a question. Yeah. First, you know, we have a lot of fun doing this and I got to just say with, you know, is it Ryan with that turtle? You know, we have a company mascot famous Tate. That's a turtle. I want to make sure it's literally like looking in the mirror. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, yeah. Right. But my daughter's here and her friend, they saw you guys in concert last year here in Tampa, and I want to make sure they get a chance for a, a question. So we're just awesome. glad it happened. Yeah, thank you. Um, so my question was, um, both when you were younger and maybe even now, did you always have your family support throughout like creating music and stuff? Like, did they ever tell you something like to get a real job, like stuff like that? <laughs> no, that's that's so funny. No, uh, th those that that was not uh, that's not who our parents were. They were they were supportive from moment one. Um, I mean, in, in fact, they actually threw away their couch at one point to make room for a drum set. You know, that's how supportive they were. We basically just kind of transformed their whole apartment into our our workspace. And uh, I mean, especially our dad too. He he's the one that sort of introduced us to mu uh, music, I guess, in general, and the bands that we love so much. So he has been like so pulling for us. And basically um, his biggest thing when we first started out, right, was uh, uh, you'll you guys have to go play Red Rocks one day. He's like, yeah. as soon as you play Red Rocks, then you then then you've made it. Um, and we did last year, uh, and we sold it out. And our dad, we have like a photo of him. He's just in the audience, looking around, like smiling like a baby. So he has been our our, our biggest supporter for fifteen years. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that was awesome. Don't let anyone tell you to get a real job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I think we got everybody. I want to thank you, AJR, again. You've been such a, like, 
friends, family member to 97X. We love doing shows with you. And when we can do shows again, we will do them again for sure. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys. All right. And thanks again to Famous Tate. They always at our shows make the backstage happen and they're making the virtual backstage happen along with our title sponsor, Clean Our System. So thank you guys again. Let's do some Zoom hands and uh, we'll see you soon. Hopefully in Tampa. <laughs> yeah. Thanks guys. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.